Boreda. I don't know about you, but I dislike wearing my mask. I find it fogs up my glasses. I find that I don't recognize people on the street sometimes. And of course, I cannot see their facial expressions when they are speaking to me. And sometimes I even find it difficult to understand people who are wearing uh, the mask. However, I do understand that despite the various arguments for and against, that as Christians, we should wear our masks when we are in public places indoors. And let me give you four simple reasons why I believe we should biblically. First of all, to show our love for our neighbour. You see, I yes, I'm frustrated by the science during this COVID-19. Some are suggesting to us that the mask makes no difference, while others say it does make a lot of difference. And politicians and scientists argue on both uh, sides of the argument. However, as Christians, we are called to love our neighbour as ourselves. And wearing a mask in public, particularly indoor spaces where social distancing cannot be guaranteed, it seems like a relatively easy way to practice neighbourly love. And so therefore, I would argue that in order to show neighbourly love, we should wear our masks in public because they say that it doesn't protect me, but it protects, protects my neighbour. And we are called by Paul in Philippians to consider others more important than ourselves. Then the second reason, biblically, I would argue we should wear masks is because we have to respect authorities. We may not be of the same political persuasion as uh, the governing party. Some of you listening may be to the right of the current government. Others of you may be to the left. Some of us may not agree with all that they're doing concerning this uh, COVID-19. Nevertheless, we have a biblical mandate in Romans 13, the first seven verses of that chapter, to obey those who are in authority over us in governments. And therefore, if our regions, our cities, or our county are in lockdown or whatever, we have the responsibility to respect and obey those decisions. And then the third biblical reason it could be argued is because we must honour the weak in our midst. You see, some Christians would argue that being a mask bearer is to be the weaker brother. Some of those who flaunt the rules think of themselves as being stronger and as being risk takers. However, Romans 14 and 1 Corinthians 8 and 10, Paul argues that we must consider the weaker brother. And therefore, as Christians, we should not flaunt our freedoms, but rather we should consider the weaker brother. And then, finally, we should wear our mask to not to use freedom for the freedom's sake. Paul, for example, seems happy to give up his freedom for the sake of loving others. He says, let me quote his words, for though I am free of all, I have made myself a servant to all, that I might win more of them. To the weak, he says, I became weak, that I might win the weak. I have been him all things to all people, that by all means I might save some. And so in one sense, 
I can argue this morning that I wear my mask for the sake of the gospel, that I might share with them its blessings. You see, there's a lot, lot at stake for Christians witnessing during this COVID pandemic. We do not want the non-believing world to look at Christians as reckless virus super spreaders who put their own freedoms first ahead of the health of their larger community. So my brother and my sister this morning, despite it being uncomfortable, despite it fogging up my spectacles, despite me passing people on the street and unable to nod to them because I can't make out who they are, yet for the sake of the gospel, to be a good Christian who respects authority, who considers the weaker brother and who loves my neighbour, I'm willing to forgo my freedom in order for the sake of others. May God bless you. Don't forget to take your mask with you.